Doc, I'm going to do a video on installing Ubuntu using Multiram. Uh, it's actually very easy. Now, if you watched my Multiram installation video, I had you download the uh, Kexec kernel, uh, depending on what ROM you're currently on. Uh, you have to have that in order to use Ubuntu or in order to boot into it. So uh, make sure that you check out that video. And um, I'll actually show you where that is. This is the uh, Multiram website. If you haven't yet, you need to download one of these kernels in the, uh, under the download section. Uh, if you're on 4.1, you need to download the first kernel. If you're on 4.2, you need to download this one. And if you're on a uh, CM 10.1, you would need to download this one. Now, just so you know, I did have another uh, regular ROM that was uh, my internal, if you've ever heard of Clean ROM. I had that as my internal. When I tried to boot Ubuntu, it didn't work correctly. Once I went back to stock, I didn't have any problems. So I went back to stock 4.2 for my internal and didn't have any problems. Now, if you've kind of played around with your multi-ROM and you've changed your internal, just so you know, you can flash like a previous backup when you had stock, but it actually saves your partitioned uh, ROMs that you saved on multi-ROM. So what I did was, I flashed my uh, first backup that I made with my Nexus 7. I in reinstalled Multi-ROM so I would have stock. And then as the moment I installed Multi-ROM, uh, uh, my paranoid Android ROM that was saved and my Ubuntu ROM was still there as well. So uh, that's another great thing about Multi-ROM. So make sure you download this and flash it accordingly. If you're not sure, uh, you need to watch my uh, Multi-ROM installation video and um, watch how to flash that. Okay, so where we're going to go for Multiram uh, Ubuntu is we're going to go here, and let's see. Where is that? Here it is. Uh, you'll see under Adding ROMs, the Adding ROM section, uh, download Ubuntu 13.0 from here. Click here. Okay, and the file we'll be looking for is right here, the Asus Google Nexus 7 tablet pre-installed desktop image. Go ahead and click that. It's about, it's like 500 something megs, so it's going to take a while to download. So this may be a good pause spot. Um, once you get that file downloaded, go ahead and uh, drag it over to your Nexus 7, of course, uh, via the USB. And let's go ahead and get Ubuntu on our Nexus 7. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and quick boot to recovery. Okay, and installing this is actually very easy once you have the uh, Kexec, Kex I, I, I believe it's pronounced that way, uh, once you have that kernel flashed on your uh, Nexus 7. Let's go to Events, Multi-ROM. We're going to go ahead and add a ROM. Now the difference here, of course, is we're not adding an Android ROM. We are adding an Ubuntu ROM. So we're going to go ahead and select Ubuntu. And then it automatically says install the internal memory, so we're going to click next. And then, of course, the big, huge file that we downloaded, Roaring Pre-installed Desktop. We're going to go ahead and select that, and we're going to swipe to confirm. 
Now Ubuntu takes a little bit longer to install than a regular Android ROM, so we'll definitely have to be patient. Okay, and looks like Ubuntu finally finished. So once everything's done, let's see, that took, that took probably five to six minutes, so it did take a while. That's a lot longer than a normal, uh, like an Android ROM flash. So let's go ahead and hit, uh, we're going to hit the uh, circle arrow, or actually no, we'll hit home. Let's, let's hit home, and then let's go ahead and hit reboot and system. Now, of course, I've got my multi-ROM set to where it auto-boots into Paranoid Android. You can do that inside the settings, so it's possible this screen that I have pop up here, you will not. All right, so we're going to go into, it's actually the one that says Roaring Pre-Installed uh, Desktop. I have Paranoid Android, AOKP, CM10, and actually this is Smooth ROM. I tried that earlier for somebody else, and then... Uh, so let's go ahead and get into Ubuntu, and we'll boot that up. Now right there, if you didn't have the Kexec um, kernel installed, you would get an error that said you needed to update that. But since we have the kernel installed, we're good. Now first load, the screen usually looks a little glitchy. I've had it do both, but more times um, it actually looked glitchy. So don't let that panic you. When I didn't have stock ROM, I wasn't able to type on Ubuntu. So I was kind of stuck. So I went back and flashed stock. And then I didn't have any more problems. Now if you don't have stock on your internal, you may not have problems, you may be fine. But that's what happened to me. There's the glitchy part I was talking about. Alright, so for Ubuntu we're going to go ahead and turn to the side. continue at the bottom. And I'm not worried about connecting to Wi-Fi right now, so I'm going to ignore that. Uh, you would actually want to hit connect to network and then select your network. Um, where are you? You can type in uh, wherever you're at the uh, state. I'm just going to go with New York for now because that's fine by me. I don't care and then your name. Um, my name starts with N, so we'll say, uh, I'll just put N or Droid Doc. Doesn't matter. It says N Laptop. I actually changed that to a Droid Doc Tablet. Uh, pick a username and then a password. I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, and then confirm it. If you want to pass per password protect your Ubuntu, um, that's what this is for. Uh, that's so you can require a password to log in because a lot of people use Ubuntu on their uh, desktop PCs as well. So once you've got all that filled out the way you like it, hit continue. And this is where it's going to install the system and from this point on it will look a lot more normal once it gets done.
Ubuntu is actually pretty nice. I, I didn't mind it at all. It takes some, definitely takes some time to do this part, but once it's done, you'll have a regular looking uh, desktop, so to speak. They have like an app store, they have, um, you can change the backgrounds, like a, kind of like a regular PC. If your tablet, well, as a Nexus 7, as of right now, uh, no mouse, no way of hooking up a mouse right now, but if you have that ability on any other tablets, you can do that with Ubuntu. And applying changes, and I think this is the last step. I believe it is, if I remember correctly. Okay. There we go. That looks a little more normal. All right, guys, there's Ubuntu. And way to shut down the tablet is hold the power button or this little gear icon. You can shut down, restart, suspend, log out um, by hitting the little gear icon at the top. Um, so yeah, there's Ubuntu for you. Get to know it a little bit. It's actually a, a pretty nice interface if it's something you're used to. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did it for quite a few people that were asking me to do that. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, never be afraid to ask. Thanks.